This is a new project idea. Need to get out some color. And So this one, what I am trying to do is to do a piece of black paper and then script, script, script scratch to get the color out. And uh, the project, why do I not paint some background at, at the back? because I am trying to do a black and white project. So black and white, I just need white paper. And then uh, use something to scrape it out, see if, uh, to make a starry night or something. Who always have some old paint, and this is kind of leftover school paints, and uh, it is not good if uh, we keep it too long. So it's perfect for this project. The best thing is actually to have some recycled paper. But anyway, this is a try. So. I will use this paper for the time being and I will at the same time look for some recycled paper. One of the projects a student has done is to do all your pastel and they paint one color of uh, all your pastel and then black pastel on top of that that uh, drawn already messy background and then use uh, pencil the back side of the pencil to spread it out background you can you can see the color of it. It's really very fun and beautiful. Okay. You need a lot of black ink, a lot of it. 
you can of course buy those papers, but it might be too expensive and not uh, handy enough. Being an art teacher, majority of our time preparing things is to do things by ourselves. Today I was just uh, talking and chatting with my colleague. And also, I was just thinking myself, so often time, a lot of things in our life is so momentum, an, exec an examination, an exhibition, a concert, all these things. Let's say an exhibition, we have all been through those exhibitions. Uh, <clears throat> you walk many, many endless hours, hard working hours, and to produce something. And the exhibition lasts one day, two days, three days, only a very short time. But comparing with the time you spend in producing it, it is so minimum. So what's the point of make such an exhibition, right? It is just to show what you have done. And then it will be gone. People come to see you, to see what you have done. They appreciate, but it's not their things, right? They will appreciate, and then it's gone. That momentum will be gone. So what is for you to keep is a memory of only a few minutes. For example, a student performance or even anybody's performance. You spend your whole life to train. You spend very long time to train, to practice. And the performance is only a few minutes, right? then what's the point of have this performance if you are not enjoying it? So here, what I am trying to say is do not care that much about that moment. What really gives us joy is the journey. If we if we put all our heart and soul into the performance and uh, stress out in preparing, preparing those performances, those short-term show-off, then our life will become quite stressed out for these little things. And it may not even worth it, right? So the point is that we I'm sorry. I zili gulu zili gulu trouble of our So the point is that we enjoy we should enjoy more the process of making that moment. And take that moment is one of the goal, is a goal, is a, a goal so that we can reach. If we do not have goal, we do not have pressure, we will just glong do it. We will just stay there and doing nothing, right? Only when we have pressure when we have a goal, we can make sure ourselves stand up and do things. If we do not have that, we will be just being lazy and do nothing. So make sure that is our goal of, uh, of pushing ourselves to do things, but not our ultimate goal of our life, our all activity, right? Our real goal is to enjoy, 
the joy of doing things, to enjoy the joy of the enrichment, the joy that by doing things we learn new things, we discover new things, and we have fun with new things, and challenge ourselves. That is our goal. That will be so fun if we treat ourselves that way, treat ourselves. The goal is oh, and running short of that particular size music. journey and learn to appreciate the journey. Learn to our life is to be enjoyed. It's not to be stressed out. Yeah, maybe I, I would like to report you something. Recently, I'm making a blog. Actually, I have made many, many blogs. I have made a cooking blog. I have a silk painting blog. And the Chinese language and cultural blog. And now, recently, I was watching, I was looking, searching the internet, searching class ideas, and I saw so many wonderful art teachers have their blogs, and they have contributed and inspired a lot of my art project. So I'm thinking maybe I should change in return to, not in return, not for others, just let's say for myself, as a record of what, of what I have done. So later on, when I prepare my class, curriculum design and everything, it can make my life a little tiny bit easier. So I made this blog of art class idea blog. Yes, art class. My, it's called Haiyin. Haiyin class, uh, what is the name? I will put the the link on the on the web uh, on the description of this video. It is um, the class project I have done, and uh, right now it's only picture. I will slowly put on more words, more descriptions, but. Uh, one picture says 1,000 things. So, <clears throat> if you are running short of idea as me, you can find some fresh idea from those blocks. Okay, I give you some example. Right now, I have categorized it into a few. One is technique. Technique, for example, watercolor technique. Then the class, then the particular block name is watercolor. Oil pastel technique. Drawing zendala, zendudo, 
and uh, drawing technique. Yeah, one scene and um, watercolor over crayon. Watercolor over crayon. Crayon. This is another class project project idea. Things like that. What else? And the oil pastel. Watercolor. Later on, tempera painting. And, uh, yes, and the paper cut. Uh, yeah, and then another one is craft ideas. For example, paper cutting, and even in paper cutting, I have found so many. There are collage, there are, uh, yeah, I, I should put on my paper mache collage, and, uh, and uh, symmetric, symmetric, symmetric paper cutting, cutting, and, um, Another one is uh, origami. All these I put on my blog. And oh yes, another thing is uh, in the technique is color shading, drawing color shading. And um, what else? Gosh, I'm having too much fun. I'm doing all this work. Maybe I should let the students do some, but limited, not everyone. There are some that uh, enjoy too much of this. Uh, I think you cannot, you cannot imagine what will happen on their hand, on their face, on their everything, if they are allowed to do this. A little bit scary for the parents. Yes, you need a strong heart for it. Otherwise, you will have a heart attack. Anyway, um, yes, and uh, there is another thing is influential artist. I did not say famous because uh, famous or not is, uh, yes, influential is usually famous, but I do not like to use such word. Famous is like to we are more um, neutral in the name, in the fame, but more in their technique. So right now we have done a project that is based on Van Gogh already. So there are there is a drawing of starry uh, 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 oil pastel of starry night and uh, the sunflower of Van Gogh. Yeah, and who else? Ah, uh, Kandinsky. Kandinsky, one is done by uh, watercolor. Another one is done by paper cutting, collage, paper collage. Who else? And then I will put on uh, uh, Gustav Klimt. The, I like his uh, Tree of Life. And... Um, Yes, we have our duplication paper exercise also. And then later I will add up um, Georgia O'Keefe, the cube flower painting. Spring has come, spring not has come. Spring is on, on its way to come to us. So we will have a spring Class, spring painting, uh, 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 Georgia or Kifi painting class, and then for the middle schoolers or even just uh, even no need to, to middle school, kids, herring, the little jumping man. That will be a good project, and then. Um, the Montian style, the, the, the square, the cubes and squares. And uh, another one is, suddenly the name is on my on the tip, of oh, Miro, Miro style. Miro, Miro, Miro style. Okay, yeah, we will do 
slowly do more and more this art project. So if you are an art teacher, and uh, you may find it, uh, um, you may find some idea from my blog. Or if you are not an art teacher, just stay with your children and would like some art project idea for your children. That will be also a place to go. Yes, so this is a, another blah 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 plus the commercial, my TV reading commercial of my blog. Yeah, it's not really commercial because in any case, a blog is not a, a, a commercial thing, it's not making money. It's just a changing, exchanging idea. So that is the one, and the what? So if you have a, a children, young children at home would like to do some art project, you can look at it. Also, a teacher look at it also. And if you have any particular idea or suggestion, oh, of course, Chinese painting, and and you you want to see some project or some idea being developed, I'm very happy to do. So that will be your project idea suggestion. Anything of that nature, you are all very. Welcome. Okay, so how long is this one? This one is already 22 minutes. Time to go home almost. I always go home too late because I have too much fun here. Oh, I, I'm just never finished my work. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I, I am absolutely sure will be a fun project and will be so pure without any color on the background. And when this project works well, I will do some project uh, with recycled paper. It's already have some of the failed artwork or just a not failed in, in, in my eyes there is no failed artwork but some students just do not like what is turned out and they would like to throw away their work so I will work on those I will keep those paper and uh, continue to work on it we will have more resource of paper and color. How good is to work like as a teacher, you have chance to do all this fun to be an artist. I always think I have the best job in the whole wide world. I am so Dum dum happy. I wanna be a da 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 be so un un bad. So un un bad. Time to go. I will leave you here. And do you still want me to hear me? Blah 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 blah. I can still do blah 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 blah. Da. Yesterday, I forgot to bring, to take my computer and um, my computer.
computer and uh, camera back home. So I had one night without my laptop, without camera. How bad is it, right? And oh my god. Oh, my poor camera. Okay, nothing wrong. Okay, I put it a little bit further away. It is okay. Camera is to be used, although this is the best one, but if we do not use it, then there is no value of it. I do cooking with it, I do everything with it, and uh, that's the best way to appreciate my camera, is to use it, to use it to the best of its ability. Of course, I will, I will be more careful about it. Okay, now we will do a few more pages, and then I'm off to go. We have so many black colors. We still have two huge tanks of black gallon. I think that's the word. It's a huge bottle of two or even three or even more. I do not know. I do not count. But I'm sure that's This is a uh, uh, tempura. Tempura.